everybody welcome back to my channel so glad you stopped by and we're gonna have today unboxing part number four so after that we're gonna have one more video unboxing and thank you so very much for your kind comments your choice of diamond painting that you would like for me to do with you together and I'm doing a good job on it I'm trying to do my fast as possible so today we're gonna unbox another five project from Cecil.com and I have in here back with me we're gonna put camera close to the table so we can have a clear shot and we will choose again um, as we kind of pick a boo when we count last time with you diamond paintings um, yeah so we kind of saw that there's two books up there so probably would be fair to do one of them review in this video and one for the other one so whatever is diamond paint and canvases up there it's totally going to be surprised because uh, we don't know what's on the inside so that's what we're gonna do so it's gonna be four diamond paint and canvases and one of the notebook that I will know already it's in here so okay let's get started and I hope you enjoy grab some coffee cup of coffee <laughs> I'm tripping over myself uh, grab yourself cup of coffee or maybe tea never mind if you have some glass of wine and enjoy this video okay where is those two books okay so I have one book we're gonna do and then I'm gonna just pick random diamond painting canvases because I don't know what's in here so here's one big one and we're gonna have oh looks like a two big one two so now it's three and I'm just gonna grab one it's gonna be four and something else let's see which one should we have another little one maybe so two big one and two little one I think that would be fair so it should be another five projects left in here for our next time okay let's get started guys so since we already see this one it's obviously visible and you can see what this is so let's start from this notebook and see what kind of drills we're gonna have with this beauty because all this notebooks uh, came with special special gems special sparkle gems if I can just figure out how to okay there nice in a ziplock bag which is kind of okay for the present could be and now this is the design we're gonna work on it beautiful mandala and this is good size book whole bunch of pages and I already have two of them if you remember and the tutorial about how I seal them with resin should be already on my channel guys so please check it out if you're wondering about this kind of project and how you can um, seal those gems because usually the surface is slippery and they can slide so here is this like a very close up for you to show you the field it shouldn't be a problem to place those gems right beautiful kind of like a purple back around in here and we have simple toolkit all you need for this project and let's just quickly look what kind of gems because that's the best part exciting part and there's always something new could be they are super sparkle and I already see some gems that is absolutely new and looks like we have in here 10 different colors so let's check it out guys that those gems are absolutely gorgeous and actually let me zoom to me as close as we can and then we're gonna see the gorgeousness of those gems 
This one I always call them frosty because they kind of like a frosty, trans transparent, I don't know, so beautiful color green. This one is absolutely frosty snow white. Gorgeous. And we have a three of this beautiful red. Looks like a cat. Oh, look at the circle, how it's go on it. And those ones, so we have three of them. What kind of number? Number seven. Oh, that's wonderful. That's very nice of them. I only, only need one on the center. So thank you very much for two extras. That's very nice and kind. And then we have, look at this one color. Ooh, mysterious, very pretty color. And this one is big, like a teardrop, but oh my God, it's same, um, same as this one. And oh, so pretty. I feel like I should just open even back to show you this one like a leaves um, almost like a AB diamonds you can see or not guys lots of light from the ring light but now this one is a big teardrop there kind of you can see color this way and this is a pearls uh, yeah this one is around pearlescent beads and one more color beautiful i just really really like this color so pretty okay awesome awesome we're gonna drill this together for sure because this project's like it's so fast to do this kind and they just lots of fun to work with all those gems okay i got you a little shaky here let's get to our next project now we're gonna start let's start from little canvases if you don't mind and i have a handy in here measuring tape if we need to also i have marker with me so after i unbox i write down like i have this little tiny pen so when I finish, I just write down name in here and that way I know what's inside of this envelope. Let me try to get a light maybe on this side. Let's see if we're gonna have a better. Okay. So diamond paint number two. Got a little bit pushed in a bag in here canvas is really really sturdy really stiff oh ho, ho. i see what it is okay guys this is puppy who has shih tzu puppy i got this one because my neighbor across the street has this puppy and i thought they've been such a good neighbors and this puppy looks so good on the picture. And it's actually look like their puppy. So I'm gonna create this diamond painting for her because they were just uh, nice neighbors. I have such a good neighborhood, guys. And I'm just, I wish I can make a gift for all of them. I wish I could. <laughs> but definitely I will iron this because it got a little bit um, wrinkly from the packaging and please watch my tutorials on how to iron um, it doesn't really says how to iron tutorial I should make it separately that way it would be easy to find but find my uh, cute chicks uh, video and I did some ironing up there and guys look how adorable look how adorable uh, I believe on a website this diamond painting called said puppy I don't think he's sad. He kind of like I would call him cute puppy, <laughs> but he is adorable. And here's the little picture. Uh, the canvas quality is really really clear, and that's one of those uh, canvases that have uh, glitter on it. 
Look how good the puppy look like up there. And we can see this glitter sparkling on the canvas as well. You can see the glitter. Yes, the field of the diamond painting canvas is really clear. Doesn't have any circles or squares grid around. And that's what I love it. Oh, now we have the same uh, regular tools. And then this, this one we have round round beads so this one it's a very tiny let me measure for you first I believe like 20 or something okay printed area is 23 by 23 so it's a perfect square and 18 colors so for such like it's almost like a white and gray gonna be colors so 18 colors I think it's a good amount for this kind of picture and it definitely looks like it's from photo it's made of the photograph okay so here's the gems and 18 colors yes we have a last number is 18 and that's the gems that go with this lots of grays gray kind of colors this one is dark dark blue oh this is very pretty it's not white it has like a, a tiny aqua shade in it Ooh, I hope you can see maybe this way this is really sparkly and separating like there's no stickiness no garbage in it looks really good wow all right we got this one so I will be glad to make this canvas for her as soon as possible and find a little tiny square um, frame and I think that would be a very very nice gift as just because for no reason and that's going to be a nice surprise as well because she would never even think of uh, diamond painting sometimes she see me photographing or video outside and she's like, what is this? So she come over and look and just amuse herself with the sparkles. So I thought that would be great to surprise her. They've been a good neighbors. Okay, diamond painting number three. And what do we have in here? Aha! Who like country style, guys? Here it is. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. oil painting of the chicken male rooster look how beautiful and colorful he is let's see if we can uh, see the thumbnail a little bit if this would be better or not to see the picture of kind of like an oil painting I think he is gorgeous uh, the reason why I pick this one because I'm a country girl I came from a country and I love all that wild stuff those animals those chickens and all that stuff and it just plus its colors because it's a beautiful colors I love the oil painting uh, canvases that transform into diamond painting because the more um colors and of course it's more beautiful diamond painting and um all this diamond paintings is pour on glue so far guys and i think they are all like that i think i keep saying this in every of my video but just for in case okay a few folds in here not big deal we can always iron but it doesn't have a reverse or air bubble straps under the canvas now this canvas is much softer 
but also I have a glitters, glittery canvas. It has 22 colors. Now the field, let me check this field. This one is really kind of dark area in here. So definitely would be best choice to order, not order, well order if you don't have one, but I do have the light pad. Here it is, it's a dark colors. I can see those symbols, but if you work in a dark room, would be hard to do. Like during the day would be okay, uh, but all this mixture of colors in here, uh, the light pad guys, it's so good to work on this kind of area that um, dark shades and you can really see very well. So I think everyone should have right now a light pad. And says you'll have one if you wish I can uh, link it up for you under the video it's not expensive and I believe have a few different sizes up there so you can have or cheaper or you know more expensive but a little bit bigger and 22 colors also this one have round drills same tools now what's the we didn't check the size yet, right? Let's see. Let's see the size. This is square two, so should be the same probably. This one is 24 by 24. Y yes. 24 and it's kind of, yeah. 24 and almost 24. A few millimeters, um, not enough. Now let's check our drills if they are all in here well I never received short uh, package on drills yet guys never yet and I have many of them uh, from this company it always have all drills that they need so I already see that 22 and 21 it's meant the rest of is all in here and I already see those unique beads that I was talking about them in my previous video now I have them again in this unboxing and now this one oh my goodness I really guys love this one color oh like this one color so pretty but together with pink one the combination would be so nice very bright colors for this diamond painting as it's really really colorful so this rooster is because it's kind of like a country thing. So if I uh, frame it, I might gonna take as a gift to my mom, so she can place somewhere in her kitchen maybe. When I was a little kid, we have one rooster that he would come to people. Usually they running away, but that one had those multicolor feathers. It's like five or more colors of feathers and he was like the first one ever that could come and take a food off your hands he didn't afraid and he used to come and cuddle with me yeah so that's kind of remind me of that rooster from my childhood and that's probably the reason why i uh, ordered this one because that's that's the colorful we we have one when I was young young lady <laughs> okie dokie awesome stuff and now we are gonna have some big diamond paintings in here looks like it because it is big size as you can tell looks like flowers I wonder if we still can zoom out maybe a little tiny bit to make sure we fit in the screenshot okay I see the flowers but I cannot remember exactly what the full picture look like okay oh okay it's in the base yes i remember now i remember now so 
so what we have here same one nothing different here same tools as usual because with the round drills usually with square we've received some uh, special tool guys here is the picture and I think this penny um, I think it's penny flowers is absolutely amazing I think this canvas is just gorgeous and it's a good size canvas the size in here says it's 45 by 55 but we definitely can measure sometimes they do show you on a website proper sizing like from printed area and I saw some of them that they show you exactly printed area so let's check for right now and maybe hopefully this one the size of the printed area if not that's still big enough okay so this one is 50 so yeah supposed to be 55 so it's 50 because of the um, the full canvas is measured so if this one 50 this one will be 40 and it is a good size it's actually not full uh, it's 30 9 and 8 millimeters so it's almost 40 okay <laughs> very very little bit tiny short but it's so pretty wow I really like this diamond painting and the glue here guys are so good this is pour on glue hundred percent the field of the canvas is clear as a whistle doesn't have any circles or grid on it so I don't know if you like that or not but I do appreciate better when it doesn't have a field uh, grid on it that way you're not gonna see extra lines because it is round drills and if you have a grid around number that sometimes you, it could be visible if you don't place very straight what a beautiful picture wow it's even look better than I thought would be well, so far I think this is my favorite so far look how gorgeous Ooh, and it's so static it's sticking to my tablecloth Wow, I think guys, many of you gonna like this diamond painting. Here's the canvas quality. Very, very clear. Here's even on a dark side, like dark um, symbols still you can see. Well, there's not much of the dark in here, only where those dark leaves and a little bit like at the table shadow stuff like that but it's so beautiful like a medium thickness between stiff and very soft canvas lovely one flower laying on the table and you can see that it's a glass vase or like a pitcher and the flowers itself are gorgeous nice gonna be soft light background i guess so lots of this orange one that i used to say it's a unique color now looks like more and more i've received in this one with each diamond painting so in here we have 22 colors and uh we have symbols on the both sides of the canvas so if you work from start from the top you look in here when you start for work in the bottom of the canvas you look your symbols in here peekaboo and um, we did not have I think yet diamond painting with DMC code and this one doesn't have DMC code either let me check let me check this one the other one if any of no no DMC code and this one doesn't have DMC code either. Lots of gorgeous colors. 
to see better colors guys I'm just gonna flip it like this and this canvas is good actually conditioned just a little bit of the fold not folds it's like a wiggles but I will iron that so let's let's see um, so this is one two I just want to see the last okay so 22 okay so we do have uh, all colors and let's let's get you a little bit more close to the table to see gems colors so beautiful you get the light a little bit more okay which one okay we were looking this one okay so here it is from yellow to orange, red. Those two colors are the same. Nice, kind of like a burgundy. Beautiful colors of this one. And then, here is the other colors, this time in painting. Two, three, so three, I guess that would be like the back around. And green for the colors of the leaves, green stuff on the canvas. Um, beautiful baby pink. This one um, also kind of like a, a unique color. I have the before, it's like a moth. Um, I can't even say it's like a dirty green that looks too gray sometimes that's a beautiful oh, so bright <laughs> and this one two of the same color i believe this is going to be maybe for the backgrounds no maybe this one for the backgrounds let me see what's the symbol 16 16 let's go 16 let me see where that color go 16 would be go on T. Okay, yeah, I'm right. So that this one, this one color will go on in here on this area and some like kind of flowers. But that that's the feel for the back around. Look how nicely. Wow, I'm impressed of this one, guys. I really truly love this diamond painting. It's so beautiful. It let me zoom out as much as we can i think you can see the gorgeousness and it, it is a good size good size of diamond painting wow i'm really happy with this one very very happy okay we have one more left and where should i put this one maybe in a floor for now okay now there's one more big one and i already recognize what this is and this is guys a koi fish in china they believe that koi fish is for the good luck so that's why they are so popular in china and you uh, you can see that they are uh, they just love this fish and it's like good luck for them so everybody should have in a house a uh, koi fish picture or something with the fish and um, I, I, uh, I think it was one of the videos or something. Um, I don't know where, but I know I hear about this from some blogger. They were talking about koi fish and what they mean. So this, I thought, okay, I would love to have a, this good luck in my house as well. Okay, I'm not Chinese. I'm Ukrainian Canadian, but I love to have a good luck in my house wow look at that i'm gonna show you since i open right now how beautiful okay this canvas is much softer and here it is the canvas you see how the glue just like melted into the canvas because you can see the grid of the canvas so i really really love the glue itself already on this canvas let me just re-stick. But 
but it's static actually I don't know why I even pull out it doesn't do anything because it's already it's it's flat so let me show you link okay let me just tell you first the size it's huge it says 45 by 85 wow definitely doesn't fit on my table can we zoom out even more hold on guys okay a little bit more so I'm gonna check uh, this one should be 40 if it says 45 this should be 40 in here and it's almost 40 it's 39.7.6 and this way it's long very long almost 80 it's a 79.5 this way so this is good chunk of work to drill on and let me show you this way we're gonna go from the bottom two fishes there's a lily flowers in the bottom and then we go and go wow so beautiful when I saw this diamond painting and I've been looking on it for quite a bit and I just like couldn't decide should I order should I not because um, I know it's more as like a symbol for Chinese people but at the same time I love this fish it's so beautiful look at this lotus flowers or lily or lotus and it's just beautiful the gold fish amazing when we go here in the restaurant mandarin and there's a, like a pond inside made and a whole bunch of these different fishes uh, lots of this kind of gold and the um, I don't know this is very unique look at my hand and look at the fish it's beautiful it's huge canvas and they have a white fish like a different colors just gorgeous some of the humongous one exactly like in a picture so I think this diamond painting will be gorgeous when it's finished uh, looks really colorful right and has 24 24 uh, colors same thing one of the symbols uh, on the bottom and the other one in here on the top of the canvas so it's really comfortable when you work on a lone diamond painting and you can pick a boo on a top side or on a bottom depends from which side you start in your diamond painting and if I would start uh, well obviously uh, this is, would be your top so if I would start this diamond painting I would roll this diamond painting this way nicely so it doesn't create any folds and then I would lift it up this piece and start to create from the top by looking on this side of the chart and slowly you can roll this back as you progress in your work you fold this this way don't fold with diamonds this way you're gonna pop diamonds if you place already diamonds here always fold this way not fold but roll and use some kind of clips or something or just stick some kind of like a roll on the inside and slowly unroll this side and just keep working and working till you're done but oh wow I really really <laughs> I really love this one too it's it's more than I expected can I just say that when I was looking on the website I didn't think it's gonna be that gorgeous to look actually in real life and let's check it out this big bag of diamonds you know every time I look on a big bag of diamonds like this and I'm just like I cannot believe I can place this many of those little tiny dots but then when you start work and go so fast guys if you never done your diamond painting by the well we kind of switch from unboxing to tutorials or tips and tricks but anyway if you never done your diamond painting by the colors try one canvas and you will see how fast you will do because you always say how come I do so fast well because I work by the colors only not by the section but by the colors 
and that's why I finish faster. So same thing, all toolkits this time in this unboxing, same thing. And let me bring you close to the table this way. We're gonna zoom again to table a little bit close so we can see our diamonds a little bit better. And I already see those beautiful orange that they will go on the orange fish. I wonder what kind of fish they're gonna be look like when it's a black kind of picture. Maybe the one they will be like um, black and gray white, but I don't see really white colors in here. This is just a little bit of the gray in here. So I'm really wondering what kind of other fish gonna be, what kind of colors will be. So we have lots of blues so that would go probably for the water. Okay, let's see. Uh, we need, okay, 24. So is it 24, right? Yes, we need the 24 colors and I already see the last bag of 24. So this is start from one and we're gonna check those colors close a little bit there. Let me even zoom more close to the table. And sorry if I'm shaking a little bit camera because it's on a tripod, actually my ring. Two big bags of gray colors. This brand of drills, like PJ, that's what is are awesome, awesome drills. And obviously you can see that Lots of drill uh, of drills from this color went into this bag because obviously machine computerized them, so some of them stuck and went into this bag. But that's okay. When I usually uh, put on a tray this kind of beads, I look for this color and I rub the way place them on a canvas so I don't have to uh, have a headache and later separate them. Here is the pretty orangey kind of. It's a looks yellow, but it's it's a different color than you see. I see different color on my hands. Brown, dark, dark green. You can, you can tell that they are sparkle. Here it is. So this is the lightest color of gray. So I don't know if this is gonna go on that fish. What kind of color the fish will be? So this one, 12, 12, and 13, okay. So this is two bags of the same color and then a shade darker. I don't know, can, can we see the shades are different? And then blues. This one looks like the same. Okay, so 15, 15, okay, only this two of the same and then this one blues it's two different colors as well very close to shades but 16 and 17 so it's different and then we have more bright yellow few bits snuck from here to this bag as well and then shades of gray 22 24 okay so this two bags of the same color, this one a little darker, not much, but it's different. Then I just absolutely love combination of these two beads together. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. Oh, this diamond paint is going to be so pretty. Um, this one, is it the same? Yes, two bags of 20 and two more colors. I just wish they would have a DMC code, but unfortunately don't have it. So it's going to be a long way to separate them later uh, by the DMC when you have to finish and separate them to your organizing. Okay, so this is absolutely gorgeous unboxing, if I have to say. This is uh, uh, maybe even my favorite one, I don't know. Do I say that about every unboxing? Probably not. I think this one is like my favorite one because I really, really love um, whoo, my diamonds falling. I love this koi fish. I love this flowers and actually a whole bunch of my favorite 
uh, diamond painting came into this unboxing. I was like, I've really waited for the puppy to unbox because I wanna drill for my neighbors. So he is amazing. Yes, and then we're gonna have with you here is the book I'm gonna put in here take away the tray and then we have one more of this rooster colorful colorful rooster and then we have this gorgeous flowers so guys please again let me know which one diamond painting was your favorite one and which ones should I start to work on it? If you're interested in any of this diamond painting, please check it out. Um, links under the video. All gonna be there, there directed directly to the picture uh, that we have in here. I think this is definitely one of my favorite unboxings so far. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see our last, last unboxing. It, that would be video number five so this is number four we have one more unboxing to do from this huge haul of 25 diamond paintings i wish you all sparkle day and have a good day and i will see you in my next episode